Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Thursday, the 5th of September. It's a day the Chiefs fans have had circled on their calendar for the last six months. It's NFL football, baby. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -da. We're back. All right, so you know I got to play on this game, and we'll get to it in just a minute. But if you guys would be kind enough to take a minute and smash that like button, hit that thumbs up, kick off the NFL season in style, I appreciate it, of course. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to have great content all year long right here, so make sure you hit that bell, and you'll get notified every time somebody puts up a brand new video. And naturally, if you need a second opinion, winnersandwiners.com is your go-to place. Free predictions, previews, and picks every single game, every single day. It is unbeatable. No money, baby. It is free. So check out that terrific resource while you're there. If you would like to get yourself some premium plays, you can certainly do that. And while you're doing, you can use that discount code right there, WVL3U4R2 whatever the hell that is, it went by fast. Use that code, 40% off any premium product there at winnersandwiners.com. So take advantage of those terrific savings, won't you? All right. So uh, before we get to my play on the Chiefs game, we'll talk a little bit about how we did over the last couple of days. Of course, we didn't have a video yesterday for the Wednesday night play, but on Monday we hit BC plus 16 and a half. Sorry, I didn't have the balls to play the money line there, guys. That would have been a nice score. But I did, uh, I did like that play quite a bit. Uh, Tuesday night we took uh, we took Patrick Corbin, picked up a Corbin win, baby, at plus money, plus one hundred two. I told you Max Myers sucks, and he does. So let's uh, let's move on and talk about this game. Kansas City Chiefs minus three, and that is what we're playing right here, guys. I know you're going to call me a homer, no, but we're going to play the Chiefs. Uh, you know what, John Harbaugh, after listening to the critics for the last eight months, why he only handed the ball off to his running back six times in the AFC Championship game, he made some changes. Um, gone are Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins. Uh, in Derrick Henry, baby. Derrick Henry had left his home in Tennessee. You know what, call me a skeptic, but I don't know how much uh, fear a 30-year-old running back strikes into the heart of Steve Spagnola and his excellent Chiefs defense. Derrick Henry has 1,529 carries over the last five years. That sets an NFL record for a five-year period, by the way. And as a Chiefs fan, I'm reminded of the tale of Larry Johnson. Uh, from 2004 to 2008, Larry Johnson had 1,223 carries, including an NFL record, I think, 416 one of those years. Good Lord. Uh, the next year, well, that was the year he turned 30, and he went downhill fast. He never gained more than 581 yards. Three years later, he was oot of the league. Uh, last year, Derek Henry averaged just 4.2 yards per carry. That is his lowest mark since 2017, and that was before he became a full-time starter. The other thing I worry about if I'm a Baltimore fan is they don't have a ton of depth in that running back room. Like I said, Dobbins and Edwards are gone. Keaton Mitchell was healthy. Might be a different story. I like that kid. He's fast. Use him was a little thunder and lightning with Henry. Uh, you can do that. But he's out for this one. Um, the defense is where they really took a hit in the offseason. They lost Geno Stone, Ronald Darby, Patrick Queen, Jadavion Clowney, and Rock Yassin. Now, not all those guys were starters, but they all got significant playing time, especially there in the defensive backwards backfield. Um, you know what? You guys know what the chief story is. I don't need to say a lot about them. Uh, there's a lot of people this week comparing the opener against Baltimore to last year's opener against the Detroit Lions, where the Chiefs ended up losing that game. But I will say this to people that bring that up. What you don't remember about that game, Travis Kelsey was injured. He sat out the first game. Chris Jones was not there. He had a contract dispute. And perhaps most importantly, it was the game of three of the worst drops you will ever see an NFL receiver record, especially in one game. The first drop by Kadarius Toney went right through his hands. Mahomes hit him perfectly on a crossing pattern, right through his hands into the arms of the quarterback who ran it back for a pick six. That was where the Chiefs holding a 14-7 to lead as they were driving, driving to extend that to two touchdowns. And the other one was on a third down play. The other one was late in the third quarter where he had him uh, open down the sideline. May not have scored, but he would have certainly 
uh, got it with inside the 15 yard line as he dropped it right at the 35 with a lot of green grass in front of him. And still the Chiefs barely lost that game. Uh, sure, Baltimore's got revenge on their mind. You know what? It's the Chiefs. Everybody's got revenge on their mind. But to be the king, you got to beat the king. And that ain't happening here. I think the Chiefs win and get the cover. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs minus three in a pick that should shock absolutely nobody. Although you guys know that I play it pretty, pretty straight up when it comes to the Chiefs. I'll fade them when it's warranted, and I'll back them when I think they're going to cover. And that's exactly what I think they're going to do here in this game. Kansas City Chiefs minus the three. And at the end of that, well, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, don't forget to drop me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you're with me, if you're if you're for me or again me on this game, or let me know if you got another play cooked up that uh, that might be tempting as well. And, and, of course, this is the last day to get signed up for the Winners and Winers Survivor Contest. Get your butt over there to ESPN, ESPN Fantasy, do the Eliminator Challenge, and just put in Winners and Winers Survivor Contest. Sign up. It's free. Get a $5 site credit, and there are tons of great prizes. So make sure you check that out if you haven't done so already. All right, you guys have a terrific day. We got football tonight, and I am stoked. All right, we'll be back tomorrow, and we'll talk all about it. We'll see you then.